Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to recreate this intro inside of After Effects without much problems. So what you see right now on the screen awesome people is what I'm gonna show you today. And initially awesome people, I was actually gonna turn this into a template. But then I thought that because this is such a straightforward technique, um, I would rather make a tutorial on this and you guys can customize it as you want. So let's get started awesome people. I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna call this main. And I'm gonna keep this five seconds long and I'm gonna keep this full HD. Now, the next thing to do, awesome people, is to create another composition and we're gonna call this uh, text01. Now, everything has to be the same thing, so just uh, click OK. And we'll take our text tool now and we'll start typing something. So, I'm just gonna take Zengen again, Zengen Learning. And uh, I'm gonna go for the font Vivas New. Now, you guys can again change this as per your liking. But uh, this is something that I really like and I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna scratch this out awesome people and what you can do is you can use the title action save for sort of uh, lining this up as to how much big and how much um, you know you want it to be. So I'm gonna keep it somewhere over there. I'm actually gonna work without this. And uh, just for the effect I'm gonna add a nice yellow color. Mm, somewhere about that I think should do good. There you go. Now awesome people. I'm just gonna basically duplicate this text 01 in my project panel. I'm gonna duplicate this and this is gonna become text 02. Now what I'm gonna do awesome people is we'll create a new background over here and we'll take the color from our text. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to invert whatever we had in text 01. So I'm gonna keep this yellow, rename this PG and I'm gonna make this black color. There you go. So if you were to see this, you can see it's an exact inverted effect. Now, just for the heck of it, and just for, I don't know, safety, uh, what, what I'll do is I'll create um, a background for text 01. So you don't want to keep alpha, you always want to have a nice BG in the background. So it, it doesn't um, change anything, but it's still good to have a BG layer in your composition. So again, same inverted effect. Now what we'll do awesome people is we'll bring both of them inside our main composition. And we're gonna add a little bit of masking to the second text uh, composition. So uh, this is 01 and right after one second, uh, 02 is gonna come in. Now the way 02 is gonna come in, is gonna be a little stylish. I'm gonna create a mask like this, all right? And what we'll do is we'll animate the mask. Now I don't want you to confuse this with the position animation. We don't want this to happen. We want the mask to reveal the the text. So we'll animate the mask path, we'll move ahead in time, say about one more frame, uh, I mean one full second, go back in time and I'll select uh, the full mask by clicking on mask path and I'll use my shift and my arrow keys for animating the mask. So you can really see that we are not animating uh, the position of the layer, we are actually animating the mask path. Now if I was to play this, this is engine and then this comes in, right? Now we, what I'm gonna do awesome people is I'm gonna go uh, one frame ahead uh, I mean again one full second ahead I'm gonna select the full mask path by clicking on mask one name and I'm gonna use my arrow keys again to move it the other way so what's gonna happen is it's gonna come on screen and it's gonna go away right and that's exactly what you want but uh, uh, the speed and the way it comes in is a little odd so what we do is we select all of this hit F9 now yeah I, I can't hit F9 um, but you basically want to ease everything out and I would like to do this, right? So we basically are adding a lot of ease to the part where it ends. So it comes in, then it just goes out. Superb, this looks good. I think the, uh, the timing for this text layer is a little too long. So what we'll do is we'll drag our text to a little ahead. So I'm gonna go to about 15 frames, you can say, give or take 15, 14 frames. So it says on the screen, this layer, then this comes in and then this goes out. Now what we want is we basically want this layer to erase the entire screen. So we'll just cut text one right there. So it's gonna look like this, right? So we so so the text two when it leaves, there is nothing left on screen. This looks good. Now awesome people, uh, we'll bring in our text three. Now what I want you guys to do is I basically want you to duplicate text two right and this is again for you guys it will be text 3 for me it is text 4 
once you have duplicated your text tree we basically want to bring this into our main composition now awesome people move this ahead in time so basically when the screen is empty again move it ahead when the screen is empty after say give about say 10 frames we want uh, the third text to come in like this so for this what we will do is we'll basically add another mask on this so instead of actually bringing it like this we are, i'm going to show you a better way i'm going to duplicate text 2 okay and then i'm going to hold on the alt key and i'm going to drag the third composition that we made over here and we'll replace it with text 3 so uh, all the mask and all the fx and all the keyframes are applied to um, the layer but this now awesome people is text 3 it's no longer text 2 if that makes any sense now what we'll do is we we'll delete the mask actually we, we won't delete the mask we'll delete the keyframes do that and i'm gonna switch off the eyeballs for the other two layers so it doesn't confuse us now awesome people we basically want to create this revealer effect right again very straightforward hit the mask key start the animation and i'm gonna go back in time and what i'll do awesome people is in order to work properly and a little more carefully i'm gonna click on this line right here right and what it does is it basically selects both of these uh, nodes that we have made I'm, I'm just gonna basically drag it right in the center you can uh, switch on your title action save to see uh, to see where exactly is the center click on the other side and bring this in now you basically want to be very precise very tight with this so i'm gonna do something like this and you can press ctrl shift h for uh, hiding all those lines that come in the picture so we have something like this happening right there you go again the speed and the way it animates is not right so i'm going to select both these keyframes hit f9 i can't do that again i'm gonna put this ease like this so see that super this i think works now awesome people we just have to time this right so we have our text one animated or actually staying on the screen text two animated text two goes out of the screen right i think right there we're gonna take a 10 frames gap so shift page down and at 220 this third layer should start like this right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scale this down a little bit right there i'm gonna keep this to 50 percent okay now hide the title action save now let's preview this so this goes away then this happens super i think this makes sense now also we will create a new adjustment layer I'm gonna go to FX and presets, type in transform and apply it to the adjustment layer. And this is the technique if you want to get that skewed effect, you basically adjust the skew settings right here. Right? And you can adjust this, maybe you can add a little bit of rotation to this. Um, add some expressions. If you were to look at my channel, I have quite a few expression tutorials. So check that out. And I basically have used minus 15 setting. I think that sort of looks good. I, I think I, I didn't go minus 15. I think I went minus 10. Yeah, I, th I think I went minus 10. And this is how it looks, right? Now, awesome people, again, the staticness is not looking very nice. So, what will we do is we'll basically um, create a new camera and we'll. Oh, okay, yeah. you also have to make all of them 3D so they get affected and uh, it's a good chance that your depth of field is going to be on switch it off and awesome people will create a new null object make it 3d and we we'll link the parent to the null object so now if he was to do this uh, I'm, I'm gonna zoom a little bit in the z space 1500 uh, give or take i'm gonna go to four or actually i'm gonna go uh, to five seconds i'm gonna do a reset so we get back to the original position now if I was to play this, you can see this is what we get again. The animation isn't very nice, isn't very appealing. Select both of these keyframes. F9 for you guys, not for me. I'm gonna do this. Right? Press this. Now I think I think I, I think I sort of missed up something because uh, this thing isn't supposed to be on screen. So what will we do is we'll switch off. The reason why I show you guys before is that if you ever want to change something and you're getting confused with the skew effect, basically just turn off the adjustment layer. Once you turn off the adjustment layer, that effect is going to go away and you can work uh, however you want. 
So what will we do is we'll even switch off the camera and the null object and so you basically have this. Now what I think awesome people is that the starting part this is not supposed to be on screen. So what will we do is we'll basically um, create one more mask on text one like this right and we'll animate this mask path go to about say 10 frames actually let's just go to 15 frames okay i'm gonna take this uh, again you, you don't want to do this this is changing the position we want to animate the mask so click on mask and then change it like this right again this comes now the way this comes is not looking good select the keyframes select the keyframes f9 do this right and now for some people if we were to turn everything back on the camera adjustment layer everything will work just fine so again you can make a lot of adjustments to what you have made and uh, nothing is going to be lost nothing is going to be you know gone at all I, I think that's that's a superb thing especially for beginners who want to have a nice simple channel uh, intro I think this really really looks good so the, the last part awesome people is to have like a small tagline thing what you can do awesome people is you can move your text tree around like you can move it around up down left right anyhow you want um, and nothing is gonna really change uh, that much uh, as in like in you, you guys are not gonna mess up the animation take, take, uh, take your text tool and you're gonna type something say uh, Zenjin learning free tutorials right select a nice um, color and put this uh, uh, put this text layer below the adjustment layer so it has that same effect now you basically want to give it a nice opacity fade I'm gonna go one full second ahead or actually I'm just gonna go for 20 frames create keyframe move back in time and make this zero so basically when your uh, third text opens up that's the time it's gonna animate too right there again and yeah also make this 3d so it sort of goes with the camera see that free tutorials and again it's a very simple technique nothing much here and again uh, my spellings are off my camera animation may be a little bit off and everything is a little bit off awesome people but again if you were to spend a little more time uh, making this into your intro um, this would look a lot better so here's a preview and uh, this is what we have made in like 5 10 20 minutes so now, now the end part what I would say is instead of using a fade you can actually create a new solid I'm gonna call this end and you can add like an opacity fade right there at four seconds so hit the T key start the animation move this about here and make this zero so basically instead of adding opacity keyframes to all of these layers you can just create a one more solid and add like a opacity fade to it you know that is something that works too so a quick tutorial from me from TJ Styles Zenjin Learning uh, on how to create a very nice simple quick intro animation for your channel my name is TJ Styles thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time take care everyone and peace out